This is about learning how to reach out to others in the world and in your community. It is directed toward third graders. It provides them with several ideas on how they can make a difference. What are some things that you couldn't imagine living without? Maybe your iPad, your favorite toys, or your favorite candy. What would you do without these items? Did your list include food, water, clothing, and shelter? Take a second to think how your life would change without these items. How many people in the world do you think go to bed hungry every night? That's right. 800 million people go to bed every night feeling hungry. How many people in the world do you think live on less than $2 a day? $2. That would be 50% of the global population. That's half. Think about half of our class only living on $2 a day. What do you think are the major reasons people become homeless today? They are as follows. Unemployment, natural disasters, rising housing costs, too many people, low wages, family problems, and illness. Let's take a look inside A Kid's Guide to Hunger and Homelessness and How to Take Action. This will give us a few ideas on how to make a difference in the world and our community. The world is a big place, but there are ways that we can make a difference. Maybe in our communities, maybe in our region, even in our country, and perhaps even in the world. There are four different types of service. Direct service requires your face-to-face -face interaction with people or close contact with them. Indirect service, on the other hand, is not seen by the people who may benefit from it, but meets a real need. Another way is advocacy. What you do makes others aware of an issue and encourages them to take action to change a situation. Another thing may be research. You gather and report on information that helps a community. I would like to talk about four indirect organizations that I hold very dear to my heart. Souls for Souls, Sevenly, Compassion, and Toms. Because these are indirect, you may never see the people that are actually affected by your work. Through Compassion International, you can sponsor a child. This can change their life. By doing this, you supply education, clothing, and food just on a small fee every month. I sponsor one of these children. Her name is Laura. She's nine years old and she's from Columbia, South America. Through this program, I receive letters from Laura and I can write back to her. I could also go and visit her in her home country. Souls for Souls collects shoes that are gently worn or new for those who do not have them. Can you imagine a day without shoes? Through this organization, hopefully less children will have to. Tom's is a similar organization which also provides shoes to children who need them. Their theory is one for one. 
You buy one and they give one to a child or person who needs them. They also promote an event called One Day Without Shoes. They believe that by doing this, you can strike up a conversation with someone about why you're not wearing shoes this day. And perhaps then it will lead them to buy a pair of Toms for themselves and then provide a pair for a child who doesn't have shoes. These are just a few of the children who have received shoes thanks to Toms. By looking at this picture, how do you think this boy feels about his shoes? Have you ever been this excited about a pair of shoes? By going one day without shoes, you realize what a difference a pair of shoes can make. You feel every pebble, every bump, whether it's cold or hot. Imagine experiencing this every day of your life. A day without shoes. Sevenly is an organization that actually supports many organizations. They have seven causes that they support. Slavery, water, hunger, aid, poverty, medicine, and disaster. Sevenly designs a shirt each week to support a different cause. The shirt is only available for seven days. Each sale gets $7 for the organization. Even the smallest little bit can make a big difference.